So if I was Tom Hiddleston's manager now... I'd be saying no more Marvel. Well, he's probably locked into an agreement with Marvel for, you know, 17 films. So that can't be avoided. Okay, we'll do those, but give me every up-and-coming indie guy. So did you see Frank with Fassbender? No. So... This is ballsy. Frank was a film that played at Sundance, and Frank That's where was they're all wearing helmets. Just him. Just Frank. Yeah, that's So, right. for 95% of the movie, Frank is actually Fassbender wearing this helmet. It's a mask, a giant sort of paper mache mask. And is Fassbender under it? So, it's not like, for example, they got him on set for three days and then just shot with a different actor and used ADR, like voice replacement, to place him. In the These scene. are the kind of movies that I think you should do. He should do. Hmm. Yeah. So that that's that's like ballsy by everyone. Like, let's yeah. get Fassbender, who's our biggest star, and hide his face on the poster and in the film. Yeah. I think he should do something, I agree, an indie film, British indie or American indie? Or does he head off to Slovenia and do a sort of Slovenian Western? No. How obscure does I he I think go? he just needs to challenge um, the viewers' perceptions of him. However that happens, I think if he tries to go and do a big, dark, you know, Eastern European intense movie, I think he was going to go try hard. So I think he's better off trying to do something a bit like Captain Fantastic or whatever that Viggo Mortensen film was. Or um, even something like Patterson, Jim Jarmusch, that yep. kind of film. Like a bit quirky, but also quite sort of pleasant. See, I think we're reaching an interesting point here. Because he was cast as this villain in one of his biggest breakout roles, mm. it seems that he's searching desperately for a hero role, mm-hmm. someone who isn't Loki, the opposite of Loki. Mm-hmm. But he's going for the obvious. Yeah. Whereas rather than trying to go from being a Loki to a Thor, yeah. he should go for a suburban hero. Yeah, the guy you're not quite sure about. Exactly. And someone like, say, Viggo Mortensen's character or the uh, actor who plays Patterson, what's his name? Uh, Kylo Ren. Yeah. Going for those types of roles. They're not heroes, but they are protagonists. Mm. They're the lead actors mm-hmm. in those films. Yeah. They're interesting characters, much more interesting than playing Thor. I mean, for God's sake. Yeah. The irony would be Chris Evans, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth would probably say that in some ways Hiddleston has more interesting work in the character of Loki than he does as a clean cut hero same with Chris Evans so I would go for say the grey role and if you think about all those roles played by Fassbender and McAvoy yep they're anti-heroes yep so they're not villains yep they're not clean cut heroes they're often anti-heroes or just yeah morally ambiguous heroes of some sort not heroes protagonists does he go as far as Kevin Bacon, who played a pedophile who'd just been released from jail in The Woodsman? Mm. Bridge too far? Not really Marvel friendly, is it? Playing a pedophile. That could be a bridge too far. And I actually think that would be very difficult to come back from. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those things where he plays a morally conflicted soldier in a war film. Even if he is- could get in, say, say, an ensemble cast like The Departed. Nicholson, Warburg, Sheen, DiCaprio, Damon, even something like that. Like a really good film where he's not the lead and he's he's not a bland hero character, as you were saying. He needs something like that to give him a bit of cred. Anyway, yeah. good luck to him. All right. So advice to his manager. Or and good luck agent. to Taylor. Yeah, she's great. She'll shake it off. <laughs> All right, that's our two cents worth of advice for the management team behind Tom Hiddleston. 